welcome to another video today we're talking about something exciting but something that's not about tesla semi truck or tesla roaster i know they've kind of hijacked all electric car topics but this channel is about all electric cars and there were a few interesting news that came out last week and this week that i really didn't you know get to talk about and today we're talking about a new technology that will allow apparently to charge a 500 mile range battery in just under one minute which is amazing so let's talk about it but before that if you are here for the first time welcome my name is alex and if you're interested in staying up to date with everything that's going on in the world of electric cars you came to the right place please go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward and most importantly become a part of our community okay so let's get going with this interesting claim now fisker is the company that's making that claim for those of you guys who don't remember the history of electric cars back five six years ago fisker was a company that was kind of formed by uh henry fisker and it was uh kind of a split from tesla i'd say and they formed their own company and they tried to beat uh and they did beat tesla model s to the market with their fisker karma but unfortunately well that was a crappy car first of all it was very expensive it was like a hundred twenty five thousand dollar base price but most importantly it wasn't really an electric car it was a hybrid car and i remember it was going what about 40 miles on the uh, electric car uh, on, the, on the battery and then it just you know gas had to kind of kick in so it was really cool looking i have to say the look was really nice and i have to say because i was like really anxious to get my model s to get into this whole electric car movement i did consider it i went to test drive it and check it out at their dealership uh, pretty much right next to tesla's in palo alto but i decided you know uh, I'm, i decided not to do it for pretty much the reasons that i told you now they ended up going you know filing for the bankruptcy and there are two companies that kind of emerged out of this i remember the car was called fisker karma so one company is now still fisker another one company is now called karma now fisker is really that's what's making all the noise their new uh um the new their new car is emotion which you can see on the picture right here they're going to be debuting it at the consumer electronics show in las vegas in january i am going there with a press pass i'm very excited i will definitely cover that of course i'll do some live streams but i'm also hoping to do some interviews so i will definitely cover this unveiling of this car uh but the as you know right now the uh, lithium ion technology is what's powering pretty much all electric cars right definitely tesla but there is a technology that's kind of emerged emerging in in sometimes a couple of them really one is this uh, solid state batteries right and because it has higher density and an ability to to hold uh, more charger uh, uh, per 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 uh, a, a certain uh, um, volume i would say uh, and, and, but there is, it's got some also issues right now and another one is sort of super capacitors right the capacitors that can take the electricity really really fast uh and then release it hopefully charging the batteries because the capacitor can't hold the energy for too long so i guess these guys are trying to reunite that and they just filed for pat uh, for a patent that are saying that you know not only we're going to have a 500 mile uh, a battery but we're going to be able to charge it in less than one minute now this is a pretty serious claim if you ask me obviously now i should really mention right away <laughs> most articles about it that you'll read mention it at the bottom but i want to make sure that i, I say it right away this is not going to happen until 2023 all right in the and the emotion uh, a car right here uh, when it's premiered in january in just a couple of months it will feature the uh, lithium ion battery just like everybody else so this is something they've patented but at the same time it's just um uh bromance in the chat is saying toyota is working on that you know everyone's working on that but apparently these guys maybe got to it first uh, my bigger point is this the technology is moving very fast right and this is why i've kind of been a little bit cautious about all this cheer about the roadster being at you know 620 miles because that roadster is not going to be here until 2020 right it is a long journey until then and a lot of other companies as you know a few people uh uh pointing out uh, in the chat right now in the live chat uh, a lot of companies are competing now a lot of startups a lot of money from china a lot of money from from all over the world really that this new technology is attracting so you know two uh two uh, years is a long time is what i'm saying romance in the chat says 
Toyota claims by 2021 or 2020, you know, I'm not really right now uh, a big fan of Toyota. I haven't been in a while. I think they're behind. Uh, they can claim whatever they want. I need to see something from them. So far, I've seen a Prius. That's about the same for the last 10 or 15 years. God knows how long they've been producing it. So Toyota is not exactly um, a leader, I would say, uh, for the uh, for the electric car movement. So until they come up with something, I'm not really even going to count them as a car company capable of doing this. So uh, just just throwing it out there. Um, let's see. I'm just uh, oh yeah. So um, let's uh, hi from England, Northern Virgin, France, uh, uh, Poland. I mean, so many people watching. Uh, all over the world. That's really cool. Let me know if this time so I've narrowed down my live uh, uh, Broadcast to pretty much either 11 a.m. Which is right now on Pacific time or 7 p.m. Pacific time. So I'm kind of hoping to catch uh, Everybody at the same time or at least those two different uh, versions Let me know in the live chat or in the comments if you're watching the replay if those work for you guys And of course Derek in the chat greetings from Santa Clara my neighbor. I'm also broadcasting from Santa Clara, it's only a mile away from San Jose. Um, uh, let's see, Monkey Ride in the chat says, it only took one year for Tesla to double the life of lithium. So what are they going to do in two years? That's true. I wouldn't say one year. Uh, I mean, you know, they, they remember when in 2012 they came up with the Model S. They, the Model S was about 85 kilowatt hour battery. And they really just only got it to 100 in three or four years. I'm assuming what they're producing now they've worked on it for many years already and they're still probably going to be working on it all the way until it goes in production 2020 so i wouldn't say a year i would say five six years uh let's see uh looks like bromance says that time works for him all right perfect and by the way let me just mention it that uh, this channel and this video is brought to you by uh, uh, Evanex and uh, they're actually having um, a Black Friday sale now. They just decided to, you know, screw waiting for Cyber Monday or whatever. So if you want to check them out, definitely do it. I know I owe you guys a couple of reviews of their products and I will do that as soon as I can. But now let's move on to comment of the day. And this one is a good one. This one is actually, so this was a comment for uh, for my video yesterday because I mentioned something about le the lease and the question comes from uh, um, Istvan. I think he's in the chat room right now. So let me know if I may mispronounce your name. Hopefully I did not. Sorry about that. He says, you mentioned that you never lose your money on the lease. What do you mean by this? Is it possible to talk about this in the chat or somewhere? I love talking about the car leases because I think 90% or 95% of people who don't lease are literally losing money. Uh, there, there are some, you know, there's probably 10% of people who it is reasonable for them to uh, uh, buy. And we're talking about new cars, okay, uh, rather than lease. But here, there are a lot of great things about leasing. First of all, because you lease, you don't have to pay the full tax on the full car. You just pay the sales tax on the portion of the car that you're going to be using it for, which usually is three years. 50% of the value. So let's say if you're buying, let's say you're buying a $100,000 Tesla, right? Uh, if you purchase it, you're going to pay, let's say 9% sales tax. So you'll pay $9,000 in sales tax. If you are leasing the same Tesla for three years and the residual value is, you know, let's say half, you're only going to pay four and a half thousand dollars in sales tax. So you're literally saving yourself four and a half thousand dollars by leasing the car versus buying it. Pretty much the same deal. But just to answer, just to answer the question uh, of the day, uh, how do you never lose the money? How do you phrase it? Uh, um, how did I phrase it? You never lose your money on the list. All right. So there are two possibilities, really. Uh, well, three possibilities of what happens at the end of your lease. When you at the end of your lease, you can give up, give the car back to your to to the manufacturer, right? To to the leasing company or whatever, and you can do that. But at that time, they will offer you, they will already set the price at which they can just sell you the car at the end of the lease. Okay, it's called residual value. And that is set when you are leasing the car, which is three years earlier. So they're kind of guessing, all right? Now, three versions, right? One, if that lease price, that residual uh, value, they, that residual value matches the actual market price of this car. So let's say you bought it for $100,000 uh, and the residual value is set for $50,000. You look around and say, well, with this mileage, uh, you know, this type, type of a car is cost $50,000. So I'm just going to give it back because I'm even, right? 
What happens if that car is worth, let's say, $55,000? I don't know. Tesla had a shortage or new market opened up or for some, well, the economy just went up. So let's say the car is cost now $55,000, but the, the, the leasing company is willing to sell it to you for fifty. dollars Okay, well, let's make some money. Sell it to them, uh, buy it out of the lease for $50,000, and then go ahead and sell it yourself for fifty five, dollars which means you just made $5,000 extra dollars. So that's a plus to you. Bank does not get to benefit from the market. But, and this is answering this question particularly, what if the car is worth, let's say, $45,000 and your residual value is 50? Well, if you owned this car, right? If you purchased this car and financed it or you know, you know, bought it for cash, you would sell it for $45,000, right? Because that's what the market value is. And you that's that's just how much you would sell it for. But if you're leasing it and the residual value is 50, well, guess what? You still give it back because, you know, 50 is what you ended up pretty much giving it back at. And it's the bank, it's the leasing company that will take that five extra thousand dollar loss for you. Okay, so the calculations of the lease is, hey, this car is going to be worth $50,000 and you just pay us, you know, the first 50. But, but if it's cost, if it's worth less on the market by that time, it's them who lose the money. But you, you know, as you noticed, when the car is worth more, it's you who gain the money. This is one of the few times when you can screw the bank one way or another. I don't know why they do it. And I know it probably makes sense for them on the back end. But this is one of the few times when you can screw the bank. So uh, I, I put the link to uh, my video. I have a video buying the car versus leasing the car. And I explain all of this. And I'm really passionate about it because I really think people lose, a, a, you know, I know it's a little bit of a math to understand, right? So just please, once once you, this stream is over, go click on the link and I, I'm explaining everything about the leasing the car. But I would just have, I just hate when people, you know, just waste their money. They're just so, by the way, there are also uh, leases where you can, I, 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 you know, there's just so many ways. I, I don't even want to go on and on, on because there's so many ways how you can save money in the lease. I just told you about the residual value. I just told about about the sales tax. There's a new way how some of the companies letting you lease the car where you put a little bit more of a deposit that they will give you back, but they lower your interest rate so you save thousands of dollars over the over the uh, course of the lease. Not all companies do that, but like Infinity does it and a few other ones. So that's. Um, uh, that's that's said. So, uh, Istvan, thank you so much for asking that question. I I love talking about the leases. Uh, it's it's something that I'm really just like I said, and it's passionate about because this is about saving money. I like saving money. That's how I own two Teslas. And by the way, I have another video on my channel. I think three of them about you know if you if your budget is not that high, if you don't make that much more money. I also tell you some of the devices of kind of life hacks that I uh, that I've done myself and continue doing so on how to save money so much that you can lease a Tesla. You know, uh, check it out if you guys have um, if you got uh, if you have time. Um, Derek in the chat says one got stung once on my lease and had to pay twenty four hundred US dollars to the dealer when I turn in the car. Well. Yes, yeah, sometimes you have to pay extra. It depends on what you do with the car. If there's any damage, that will make you fix it. Also, if you go over your mileage, which I will, also the, you will have to pay. But for example, in my case, I only have to pay 25 cents per extra mile. I gladly take that because I drive a lot. So I'll, I have a little bit of a budget that I put in every month, almost like part of my payment, knowing that I'm going to drive so much more and, I, and I'm going to have to give them a little bit of money. But none of these are hidden fees. This, this is everything you know about it and you can plan about it. But you cannot save any of that money if you're actually buying the car, whether for cash or um, as a car loan. Uh, Igor in the chat, a fellow Russian says, you have to account for sales tax when buying at the end of the lease and new buyers had to pay tax too. Yes, if you want to buy that car out of the lease, you do have to pay sales tax unless you're turning it around and selling it to the third party and then you don't have to pay the double tax. But what I'm telling you is that when you're paying the tax during your lease, you're just paying the tax on the amount that you owe for that lease for those three years, not on the entire car that you're probably not going to use and sell it anyway in three years or four years if you're purchasing it. So you're saving literally half on that. Uh, Kevin in the chat asked, what about the money needed up front to secure the lease? It's up to you. 
You can put nothing and your payments will be more. I prefer to prepay my leases most of the time. So I pay all of my uh, payments ahead. So I avoid some of the financial charges. Tesla doesn't allow that. I think you can only put up 25% uh, of the total value. So I, I did that, but my payments are still low. All of that is up to you because that depends on your particular uh, finances. Um, so no, Kevin, you do not lose that money. You're going to have to pay that money whether you're purchasing the car, you're paying for the use of the car anyway because you're going to sell it and whatever you ended up losing is you know for the usage of the car uh but when you're putting in a security deposit down or down payment for your lease that just means your lease payments are low the security deposit that i was talking about in some cases is when you actually have to um uh, uh, put put it down and give it to them to keep for three years or whatever they give it back to you but you lower your payments by a few thousand dollars in the uh, term of the lease and that might just be worth it um, let's say who will be the first with solid state batteries uh, that's question in the chat uh, from eternity not um, I don't know maybe this is Fisker I know we were kind of uh, sidetracked with the awesome comment of the day but you know this is what we're going to see I'm going to interview them at the CES I'm assuming you know with a media pass hopefully I'll get to do them I've already been in touch uh, with them uh, by email so they're actually pretty welcoming I will definitely do a report for you guys we'll see because they will be at least right now they're scheduled to be the biggest unveiling uh, for the electric car market at the CES so it's only a couple of months guys and this is what the car is going to look like but this technology is not going to be in that car just yet I'm just saying that they patented and I think it's a big deal I think it also shows how fast we are moving um, in the right direction with this technology all right guys uh thanks for so much for joining me i will be here tomorrow at exactly the same time 11 a.m uh pacific time so thank you for joining me thank you for all of the questions uh and if you're watching in the replay thank you as well go ahead and comment um i always answer comments and sometimes i feature them as the comment of the day all right guys uh, i will see you tomorrow and remember to stay charged